All right, there's been a lot of talk in the industry about lithium batteries for trolling motors. And guess what? I think today's the day that we make the switch. All right, so let's talk about lithium batteries. The funny thing is, is they're not all created equal at all. There's, there's many different reasons why uh, I chose to go with uh, Roy Powell. Okay. Uh, they're not a new battery, lithium battery maker in the industry. Okay. Um, they have 16 years of R and D research and development in building lithium batteries. The other thing on top of that is the internal components that they use are, are premium, uh, compared to all those other battery manufacturers that you see out there. Um, even where they actually create their own BMS, which the BMS is for a lithium battery, okay, is actually the brain that controls everything that's inside of it between uh, the charging functions, heating, absolutely everything. And unfortunately, a lot of battery manufacturers that are out there on the market today use cheaply made uh, BMSs, which uh, reduces the life of your battery and could cause you know catastrophes some some even been known to catch fire the benefit of using uh roy pal again it's it's a company that's got 16 years uh in lithium batteries which is a long time compared to most of the other manufacturers that are out there um, i'll go ahead and link a video to uh down in the comments below if you really want to see what the internals of uh, this particular battery looks like um, i found a great video that's out there from a well-respected guy that all he does is review batteries, lithium batteries at that, and takes them apart and you can look at the internals. And matter of fact, when he pulled it apart, he was so impressed, it, it totally blew him away of the type of build quality that's within these batteries in its price point um, compared to the rest. So you get premium battery at a fair price. Now. Let's talk about why you want to use a lithium battery. For a long time, we've all been using lead acid batteries, which is the same batteries that you use in your car to, to start your vehicle and stuff like that, okay? But the unfortunate part with lead acid is uh, not only do they not last as long, they're extremely heavy, okay? This particular battery alone takes place of three 27 group size batteries that are in my console, okay? Where those alone are about 75 pounds each this particular battery alone is 75 pounds period so i'm eliminating that weight alone right there in the beginning okay so weight on a boat makes a huge difference it gives you better performance um you know your better fuel mileage i mean you can go on and on of the benefits just in the weight savings alone now besides the weight savings you have the amount of power uh, that a lithium is able to output, okay? Your regular lead acid batteries, if they say they're 100 amp hours, well, unfortunately with lead acid, you're only gonna be able to use 50 amp hours if it says 100 amp hours. On top of that, okay, while your battery is in use, it's actually losing power, it's losing strength, okay? With the three group 27s now, um, I get full power when they're fully charged, okay? However, you know, through time, while I'm on the water and I'm utilizing it, it's actually, the voltage is gonna drop. So the trolling motor is gonna have to work harder if I'm utilizing spot lock or certain speed. It's, you know, when it would have to, it could hold me at, let's say five on your setting. Now it's on seven or eight, just to keep me in place, okay? That's because the voltage of those batteries alone are actually going down, okay? Now, they will dramatically go all the way down till they're dead and it'll go lower, lower, lower and lose your performance in, until it's gone. Lithium, on the other hand, is a totally different story. It's 38.4 volts, but generally it's, it's in the upper 40s, okay? And if those of you out there have ever used a lithium power drill will know what I'm talking about. When you're using it, you're gonna get full power until it's completely dead. It's not going to really lose strength or lose power. So it's going to be at full power, full strength until the battery is just completely drained out. 
with that too, you know how I talked about lead acid only being able to utilize 50% of its capacity. So if it says 100 amp hours, you're really only gonna utilize 50. Well, that's not with lithium. Lithium itself, if you get 100 amp hours, it states 100 amp hours, you are gonna get 100 amp hours of full power. As well as these have the ability to go 3,500 life cycles. Your average lead acid battery is only about 500. If you think about the lifespan of the difference and the power, this is your actual true savings. All right, so let's get to unboxing this 36 volt battery by Roy Powell. But before we do that, if you get any value out of this video, please go ahead and leave a like, and subscribe to the channel as it really helps. And go ahead and click that notification bell so anytime I have any other videos coming out there, you're gonna get notified of when they get released truly does help grow the channel. All right, let's cut this bad boy open here. Let's see what we got. All right, so you can see right off the bat, you got mounting hardware right here. The owner's manual. Oh, this piece of foam there for protection. Holy smokes, look at this bad boy. So, boom. That is your 36 volt lithium battery. Now, uh, some real key features uh, for Roy Pal is as you can see, uh, there's actually a power button uh, right here so you can turn the battery on and off. It also comes equipped with uh, Bluetooth and the cool part about the Bluetooth feature is that there's an actual app that's on your phone that you can control, or not necessarily control, but you can see uh, what the battery's health is, temperature, how each individual cell is, is actually doing and performing, and your charge level, right? Um, and you can have all of that right on your cell phone. And uh, I'll show you that here in a little while, but you got your, your negative terminal, positive terminal. You actually have two different serial ports on the left-hand side that are right here. Here's your mounting holes for you know the, the hardware to make it real simple for you to mount. And all of this hardware is stainless steel. So, you know, again, we're using this in salt water environment for our trolling motor. So not only is all the hardware stainless steel, but this battery case itself is completely waterproof. Okay. Where you know we're out in the elements, you have salt water, you have you know, it, it just gets real corrosive out there for that itself to be completely sealed on a battery that's on your boat is a awesome feature to have. So this is one reason and one of the main reasons why I chose to go with Roy Pal. All right, so let's power up this battery. And how you do that is you go right here to the power button, go ahead and hold it down. You're gonna hold it down to the uh, blue light illuminates, which it did right there you can see it went ahead and illuminated now if you want to use your app you can go ahead and power on your app and you can download a roy pal fish click on that and now you have the ability to check on the health of the battery at all times um, it shows you the individual temperature of each cell and actually shows you the voltage of each cell too so uh, this itself is a, a great feature to have alone if you're going to have a lithium battery to be able to monitor uh, its health at all times so you know even with it being you know it's going to be inside my console here also be able to pull my phone out and actually see uh, the health of the battery even when on the water all right let's get to the installation in the console on my tidewater 2500 carolina bay this is where we house our trolling motor batteries and chargers there's three group 27 batteries and we're going to go ahead and take these out and replace it uh, with the 36 volt lithium battery by Roy Powell. Let's go.
let's see how much my batteries weigh. I know a lot of Group 27s are different. They could be up to 70 pounds a piece. These are 51.6, so basically three of those batteries are about 155 pounds. So I'm saving half the weight by switching to lithium alone. Awesome. All right, got it all cleaned up. Got the charger mounted. Let's get the battery in. Got it all installed. Nice, clean installation using the uh, provided stainless steel hardware. Got the charger over there to the right. I went ahead and uh, took my three bank, three bank charger that normally would charge my trolling motor batteries and routed them inside to charge my house and starting battery for the engine. All in all, pretty clean install, fairly easy. Let's test it out on the water. to test out that Roy Pal 36 volt battery with this 72 inch Rodan trolling motor on this 25 foot Tidewater Carolina Bay. So let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Pour it out. Let's uh, see what she does. It's a great feeling to know that now that I'm going to be on the water, I'm going to have at least three times the capacity. So if I ever get in those real windy situations uh, where your trolling motor is working really hard to keep you locked, uh, utilizing whatever it's spot lock or anchor lock or whatever type of trolling motor you might be using, it is great to know that now I have that power capabilities to go all day long without even worrying about my, uh, my trolling motor dying. I'm gonna have it for the whole time where I'm on my trip. My clients will be happy and I'll be happy. All right, well, I appreciate everyone out there watching this video. This Roy Powell 36 volt battery is gonna be a complete game changer for me. And I would suggest you check them out as well. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all their links down in the description below. Again, um, if you got any type of value out of this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as I'll be doing a lot more videos 
uh, with installations, how to's, not tying, anything that has to do with boats and on the water. With that, I'll see you next time.